everybody, my name is Gina Nacito, and today my speech is going to be them on the National School Lunch Program and Nutritional Information to all the schools. So how many of us would like to have our children be healthier and happier? Being a sister, a child, a niece, a nephew, your neighbor, anybody around you. So the National School Lunch Program aids in the health and well-being of children throughout the nation. Today I would like to tell you a little bit about the history of the National School Lunch Program and inform you on how this program helps to promote better health for children and our families in and out of school and the advances the programs are making. This here is the My Pyramid. It's the new My Pyramid. Um, you remember, guys, I don't remember the old one that was built the other way. This is the first time it's been revised in 15 years. So it's up and coming and ready to go. The National School Lunch Program and Breakfast Program aids Americans in the health and well-being of our children by providing a nutrition lunch nutritional lunch and breakfast at school while teaching them about health and nutrition. It was established in 1946 by President Harry S. Truman. The hunger, Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act allowed the United States Department of Agriculture opportunity to make real reforms to school lunch and breakfast programs by improving the nutrition and hunger safety nets for millions of children, as was stated by the United States Department of Agriculture's Economic Research Services. The USDA, the United States Department of Agriculture's Fresh fruits and vegetable programs encourages consumptions of fruits and veggies by making fruits and vegetable snacks available at no cost to all children in schools. Children, all children in school. <coughs> the Food Research and Action Center reports that as a part of the 2008 Farm Bill, the program was expanded to all 50 states. So now that I've told you a little bit about what I'm going to cover, I'd like to give you some facts and background about it. The United States Department of Agriculture and all private public schools have been working together to teach young Americans how to properly eat and the importance of health and exercise. Although all schools do currently have nutrition programs in place, there was a time when they weren't mandated for schools. The National School Lunch Act was first created in 1946 by Chief Sponsor Richard Russell and was signed off by Truman who was the president at the time, according to the United States Department of Food, Agriculture, Food and Nutrition Services. The National School Lunch Act puts into play a measure of national security to safeguard the health and well-being of our nation's children. Children's again, they're just children. The United States Department of Agriculture's Food and Nutrition Services writes that it was originally meant to boost nutrition and health from the Great Depression and to strengthen potential military recruits. Prior to this, there was meals served at schools, but they were not maintained for nutritional facts. To help with the National School Lunch Association, no, Lunch Act, there was another act which helps to fund these programs, which is the Healthy Hunger-Free Kids Act. And this allows the United States Department of Agriculture to improve the nutrition and hunger safety for our children by authorizing legislation to fund core children nutrition programs, such as the National School Lunch Program, school breakfast program and the fresh fruits and vegetables program, which I learned about through reading the United States Department of Agriculture's website. It's really good website, by the way. The Healthy Hunger-Free Kids Act was written by the by Agricultural Committee Chairman Blanche Lincoln and signed into law December 13, 2010 by President Obama. One of my favorite and my daughter's favorite nutrition programs in school is the fresh fruits and vegetables program. The United States Department of Agriculture's Fresh Fruits and Vegetables Program encourages consumptions of fresh fruits and veggies by making various fruits and vegetables available to schools, which was stated by the Food Research and Action Center. Offering children different types of fruits and vegetables expands their knowledge and the various choices of different healthy foods that they could have. James Buchanan Elementary School, where my daughter goes, has a different type of fruit or vegetable served to the children every day for them to try. The goal of this program is to not only increase the amount of types of fruits and vegetables the students and families eat, but also to teach the families different choices that they may have to feed their children. Here's just a few short, here's a short overview of a few of the children's nutrition legislations that were enacted in the years that they were enacted. Um, the National School Lunch Program was enacted in 1946. The Child Nutrition Act, which is the breakfast program, was enacted in 1966. The American Dietary Guidelines was enacted in 1980. 
and in 1996, all schools were required to comply with this dietary guideline. The Farm Act, Fruits and Vegetable Pile, was enacted in 2002, and in 2010, the Children Nutrition Authorization Act, the CNRA, was made nationally known by today's First Lady, Michelle Obama, and is, and is to be revised every four to five years to keep it current for our children's health. is the Fresh Fruits and Vegetables program that's put out at school every day. So every day, um, early in the morning, they go out to the cart and they pick a new fresh fruit or vegetable. And then the teacher teaches them about it, where it came from, how it was grown, the nutritional facts about it, and where you can purchase it at. So, in conclusion, I'm hoping this is long enough. Since the National School Lunch Program began, more than 224 billion lunches have been served. These stats were reported by the United States Department of Agriculture's Food and Nutrition Services. One in five American families struggle to afford enough food for themselves and their families, which is said by the Food Research and Action Center website. It would be my hopes that my speech has informed you about the National School Lunch Program and the importance of healthy food for our children. Without the start of the National School Lunch Program, the Breakfast Program, the Healthy Hunger Free Kids Act, and the Fresh Fruits and Vegetables Program, we we are now on our way to a healthier, happier nation of children. By teaching our children about health, exercise, and nutrition, we are shaping a better, healthier tomorrow for them and our nation. This is just a picture of what school lunches look like now. As you see now, back when I was a kid, you had pretty much fruit roll-ups, you could get Doritos, you can get pretty much anything you wanted in school. Um, now, you have baby carrots, type of vegetable, you get low-fat milk, there's a choice of Three different milks, chocolate milk, strawberry milk, and regular milk, but they're all low fat. You get a vegetable to pick from, and these, instead of tater tots when we were kids, which were awesome, yeah. now you get like um, pastas and like different grains, some people serve hummus, and there is a whole wheat turkey burger.